family how are you today I'm on my way to get a couple of things from the store um, and as I'm doing that my mind is going over some things that we need let's prepare I, I left a video already asking you all to to remind you all to just be prepared for anything to happen go out and get a lot of the things that you need necessities that just in case we can't go out let's say you can't go out for two weeks to a month make sure you stock up on the things that you need I don't have everything that I need yet but I don't wait to the last minute or think I shouldn't warn somebody else because I don't have my things together I think that you should share information with people as it comes to your mind to do it get out get water get cleaning supplies get your alcohol your peroxide q-tips baby wipes just in case there's no tissue on them <laughs> no tissue get your baby wipes that's what I'm going out to get I like to wipe with those anyway just to keep myself a little cleaner tissue is dry TMI all right my bad but in any event it's just time to stock up on things like that get your batteries candles the flashlights get things like that that will help you through just in case of a blackout things like that we need to be prepped I was listening to I have a, a, a new youtuber that I watch he he grows and he plants and um, he shows you how to do things in the farming you know the farming realm and stuff like that and he's very interested <laughs> I forgot his name <laughs> Something farmer, I forgot his name. That's terrible. But in any event, when I find it out, I think you guys should listen to him. So I'm going to put it on my page one day. I'm still learning how to post and put up certain things. I am so not electronically equipped. I am so not of this computer age. I am the worst old fashioned young old lady that you will ever meet. I'm calling myself a young old lady that you will ever meet. I've never been into technology. But <clears throat> so this, um, living naturally and the basics that's so for me because I'm just I just like things old school just old-fashioned really I really am I'm just not for all this technology and all this stuff and it's so strange because I don't even understand why I don't like it I just don't but in any event just prepare okay get the things that you need I'm trying to think of what I did not remind you all of when I made that other video because sometimes you get so excited and once the camera is rolling your things will slip your mind <laughs> I'm only human and I'm a human who's getting up in age so actually I've never had a fantastic memory my grandmother used to always say girl you're too young to be forget so forgetful that's always been who I am <laughs> remember everything I don't remember everything but I just wanted to remind you, if you're going out today, it is Sunday, and usually people go and do little errands for the week. Just pick up little items here and there. Oh, this is what I wanted to tell you all. If you don't have a lot of money, because a lot of us are struggling, right? Find food pantries. Food pantries in your area and get your stuff. Stock up. They give a lot of canned goods, which last long. They give things like rice, also, and macaroni and spaghetti. Um... Some of them even give uh, like oatmeal and grits and things like that. I don't know how often they would allow a family to come and pick up things, but as often as you can down here, you can do once a month and every week in some, some places. And trust me, I have taken advantage of it because um, as some of you know, hubby had an accident and with both of us being home for some time and not working we fell back on our finances a bit so there's no shame in my game honey when it comes to survival i'm gonna survive right and my daughter made suggestions she was like ma you're so proud you better find a, them soup kitchens and stuff and, <laughs> and i'm like oh yeah i didn't even think about it because i'm just so accustomed to trying to do things for myself there's nothing wrong with that either being independent but Sometimes when you have needs, you better know how to supply your own needs so you can survive. It's called survival skills. So if you have um, kitchens, not soup kitchens, I mean those are places that you can go and get a meal at on demand. But I'm talking about people who have, uh, they have charities, a lot of charities. Um, what's the uh, major one? Why can't I think of stuff? I can't stand my mind go blank like that. That's so ridiculous. Salvation Army. 
down here the Salvation Army gives you the least amount of food but when we first gone to them they had given us a $50 food card with a bag of groceries and that was not bad it's better than zero it added to what we had and a lot of the stuff I'm collecting we're saving because um, there's gonna come a time where the shelves are gonna be empty and they may just put this you know curfew thing down on us we can't come out this quarantine thing with this new variant that they claim is out and people getting this thing at a higher rate there may be a time where they're going to do another shutdown so just be prepared family be prepared because we just never know don't get too comfortable in having everything convenient you know everything convenient we can just go out and just get stuff what if we can you know what if we can't do those things so stock up as much as you can and another thing we need to start doing <laughs> is eating less we really do we need to get used to not filling our bellies so much because when it comes to rationing food and if there's a time period that we cannot go out or not have access to food we need to get our bellies prepared to not be stuffed I don't even eat three meals a day most of the time two one and two because I try to fast even though the morning is the I wake up starving I love to eat breakfast but I was trying to wait as long as I can and a lot of times I'm eating at 12 and 1 in the afternoons like intermittent fasting I'm trying to get adjusted I love to eat I love food I want taste I love flavor yes we all do but we need to get accustomed to lessening our food intake because if it comes to a point where we cannot get out and get food we have to learn to stretch that food we have to stretch it and it may be very small portions, just enough to get you through, to give you the nutrition that you need for the day. Another thing, you know the herbs and seasonings that we put on our food? Get as much as that as you can. I don't know why that came to my mind. Those things are, has so much health benefits. You can make teas with that stuff. Cayenne pepper, turmeric, basil, um, all the green stuff, all the little green stuff, cilantro, all of these little things, we can make teas with that stuff and it'll give your body nutrients because they're herbs. Herbs are for the healing of the nation as the Bible say. So collect those things too. And then you could just make teas and stuff. So when, if you don't have enough food or you want to sustain and let the food stretch, you could just make hot water and just drink those things. You know what I'm saying? It may not sound appetizing to you all, but you have to learn how to put your survival skill button, press your survival skill button because things are going down, right? So just be prepared. I'm just thinking of little things myself and that I've heard other people say, so I'm sharing it with you because as I go shopping, I'm noticing the shelves are so scarce. I'm like, what's happening? And I think it's purposefully done because truckers are still moving. They're essential workers. They're still moving and they're still delivering. I know during the holidays that they may lessen their, their travels and their deliveries. I know they lessen around that time. I work in a warehouse where the truckers may not come as much during the holidays so I get that part but every time I go in the supermarket I'm seeing shells especially the water water is like not there so and then uh, somebody posted yesterday where their bread um the bread shelves were empty it was like a couple of loads in a Walmart in their area I don't know where they were but Take notice of what's going on in your area. When you go in certain stores, take notice of, of what's not there and try to get things to stock up on. I like to, I'm trying to fill up my, um, underneath my uh, bathroom, I have a nice size cabinet, so I'm just trying to put things under there. Even things for body aches and stuff like that. We like natural stuff. I like that BioFreeze, that's for like pain in your knees or your back ache or whatever. And, um, what's the other one? Uh... Arna care. These are like natural uh, things. If you're the type that don't like medication, because I don't. But sometimes it's good to have things in the house for just in case. Just in case you have a bad headache, a bad migraine, um, a stomach ache. Get things like for that. You know, you just have to make sure you have things stocked up. Whereas if some emergency took place and you were not able to get out and buy the stuff, think of your think for yourself. Make a little list and think of, if it's an emergency, what things would I need, especially if you have children in the house. Because a lot of time our children get sick the most. They catch every little thing, and that's a part of building up their immunity. But they catch colds and things from one another like crazy. <laughs> as soon as they start school, illnesses come upon them left and right. So just look, think about those things, family, okay? 
Stay on top of your game because a lot is going on, all right? And don't sit and say to yourself that, oh, I don't believe that. We're not going to always, always have everything comfortable and accessible to us. So please know that and think that way so you can prepare yourself for the worst. Okay, family? Stay prayed up. Be obedient. Peace, love, and blessings, family. Have a great day.